All right, uh, I've put it together. Um, it is eerie. <laughs> it is uncanny. It is an MSI. I mean, it, 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 it is, you know, if you could only see it from the front, you'd say, oh, well, that's an MSI. Um, if you turn it around, <laughs> It's it, not an MSI. It, it, there's nothing other than the front panel and this one little tiny little thing over here uh, that's the ESP32. Um, but yeah, it is, uh, it, I mean, the colors are, are spot on. Uh, it, it, uh, it, is, it is an MSI. It's the right size, it's the right colors, it has the right sheen. Uh, yeah, it is just like an MSI. Um, you can tell this is plastic. Uh, the other one, uh, the original one had uh, metal, but um, it looks very, very similar. Um, actually, this one fits better than the, my M side did. <laughs> this one actually looks a little neater. Um, the switches are very close. They're not exactly um, what the M side uh, was. The, there's just a slight tact. I mean, you wouldn't know unless you've actually touched an M side. There's no way you would know. These, these switches are perfect. Um, I've been told that the, uh, the guy who made this, Dave, who made this, um, had to have the switches custom made. So he found a switch manufacturer who had the right paddles and he goes, well, I want blue and red ones. And they said, oh, we haven't built those for 20 years. <laughs> and he goes, well, can I get some made? And they go, sure, for a minimum quantity. And he says he's got boxes and boxes and boxes of them at home. So if you need any switches, uh, yeah, uh, contact the high, the high nibble and uh, uh, <laughs> you can get you some switches. Uh, anyway, so so I got it all built and everything. And I, and, and, oh, okay, well, okay, whatever. I guess I'll try it, try it out. So I hooked it up to a USB to, 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 to power it up and I turned it on. And, and I didn't do anything. Oh, I went, oh, wait a minute. Oh, there he goes. Comes on. So it doesn't come on right away. Just like an M side it doesn't do anything for a second. Came on. Came on. Looks great. Because I go, okay. It's a, it's, a, well, it's in a wait state. Okay. Well, you must have to load a program. You must have to do something to make it work. You know. And I said, you know, if it was an M side, you just start flipping the switches. And so, and so I hit reset. And I went, oh, wait a minute. It did something. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, that that's kind of like what an M side does. And I thought, no way. Um, so I did. I did reset. Right. So then I did. Okay. Let's let's put in the program. You know, three three three, uh, FF, uh, three two three, uh, FF, jump, zero zero, examine, run, and lo and behold, it is an M side. It does exactly what M side did. So. Um, let me run that through that. I did that very quickly. Let me, let me run through that again. Let, in case you, I, I know that probably most of my viewers don't, don't know anything about my, my original channel. They probably don't even know why I'm called MSI guy. Okay. So, so let me, let me sort of back up. So MSI was a computer. I figure what it stands for now, but it was a, 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 com a computer company here in Silicon Valley. One of the very, very first computer companies ever. Um, and uh, it was up north of here, about, oh, about 45 minutes, well, about half an hour north of here drive, about a half an hour north of here. Um, and um, it was um, an 8080-based uh, microprocessor. And it was a big, big box. And uh, this computer was featured in the movie War Games. Um, and there's talked. Um, if you've watched my videos, mine talk to probably one of the very, very few M size in the world to talk. The one in the movie was all faked, but mine actually did talk. Um, and uh, so it's an 8080 microprocessor and it has a front panel. And so you can do things like uh, stop it. Uh, you can uh, type in a program from the front panel, which I just did. So let's go through that again. I'm going to hit the reset, which resets the microprocessor. We can examine memory addresses. So we can put in the memory address with these switches, which is a 16 bit. So I can say examine. So now I'm examining uh, 00, zero uh, you know, in hex, right? Uh, and it's a uh, uh, octal 333. And you can either program um, in octal. So it has a little thing here, it says octal. And so the, the 8080 microprocessor was actually designed in octal. So I, I remembered a lot of commands in their octal form. So 333 is an input. So we're going to do an input some from somewhere. And then we do examine next. Now we're looking at address 10001. And now it says it's FF. 
FF uh, is a particular port location, which is actually these switches. We're inputting from these switches. That's port zero uh, FF. We're going to examine next. This is a 323, uh, which is an output instruction. And we're going to uh, output to FF, which is these LEDs up here. This is a 303, which is a jump instruction, 0, 0, which is the location to jump to. So we're going we're gonna to do that. So we do examine. We're now back at 0, 0, and we say run. Now it's executing that program. And it's going to read these switches and then output them on the LEDs up here. So that's what that, that's what that program is doing. So it is acting exactly like, exactly like an MSI. Now we could do single stepping here. Uh, let's see here. We can do stop, examine, zero. We can do a single step. And we're doing the FF. And that's taking that off the, on the bus. It's doing the uh, output instruction, putting that onto the bus. It's doing the jump instruction and going back to zero, zero. So it's, <laughs> it is an MSI. It is an MSI. I'm so excited. I have my MSI back and it doesn't weigh 60 pounds and it doesn't take 28 amps to, <laughs> to run the five volt supply. And it's super, super tiny. It's only that thick, which means I can store it someplace so I can have my MSI and not have to have a, uh, a place to put it. So, um, yeah, thanks, Dave. This is, this is great. <laughs> this is really, really great. Uh, I love it. Oh, we have to, we have to execute it here. Let's see. We'll do uh, examine and run. So now get up, get our program run, running again. All right. So, um, for me, this is enough. Um, now I know that the machine has CPM and everything built into it. It has a windows interface. It has a whole, whole bunch of other stuff. So you can actually hook up a, uh, uh, if I flip it around again, uh, you can hook up an RS to RS-232 and it has a file system and, you know, you can run WordStar and, you know, games and everything, you know, but uh, for me, this is it. It's the front panel that I missed, right? If I want to run CPM, I'll go run it on my Zeta board or whatever. But for me, this is what I wanted. This is, this is, this is my MSI. This is what I remember from, uh, from the way back days, right? I think the MSI was made in something like 1974, and I got mine around 1981, maybe, something like that, 1980, 1981, and um, yeah. And uh, in, the, in true fashion, um, the MSI, when it was first sold, was available either as a built uh, machine or as a kit. And uh, so this is kind of in true keeping, as it's in kit form. And uh, yeah, you have to put it all together and make it work. Um, instructions are very, very good, uh, probably overly good. <laughs> I think, uh, the, they may have gone a little bit too far in the detail of the instructions and, and detail of the, uh, of the videos and putting it together. But I mean, if you've never built a kit before, it's great. It's every single little step uh, all spelled out for you. Um, there are some jumpers in the back. I haven't figured out what those do yet. Um, looks like there's a uh, boot and test and a bunch of other things. So, um, um, yeah, it's it's very very cool. So anyway, I'm I'm really excited. Uh, I can I can proudly say uh, I'm MSI guy again. Uh, I now I now own one, um, and uh, yeah, very cool.